Welcome to another episode of Baseball Stunning Stories, brought to you by the collection at cooperstownexpert.com. I'm Jim Smiley. Today we learn about a pitcher who was traded before he realized his greatness. After the trade, he went on to post six consecutive 20-win campaigns for his new club. From the collection, we'll see museum-quality artifacts and read thoughts from the player himself. Let's learn more about Ferguson Jenkins and that fateful deal. Signed as a teenager by Philadelphia in 1962, Fergie rapidly ascended through the minor leagues. By 1964, he was on the doorstep of the majors at AAA Arkansas. That season, the Phillies had one of the most epic collapses in baseball history. Up by six and a half games on September 20th with only 12 left to play, the Phillies were confident. They printed World Series tickets, but it was not meant to be. By the end of September, the Phillies were two games in back of the hard-charging and eventual World Series champion St. Louis Cardinals. The following season, Jenkins debuted for the Phillies on September 10, 1965. Though they finished the season mired in sixth place, 11 and a half games behind the Koufax and Drysdale Dodgers, Philadelphia management was sure that they were only one strong move away from a World Series berth. Unfortunately for them, the move would be the ill-fated trade of Fergie Jenkins to the Cubs for a pair of pitchers on the wrong side of 35, Larry Jackson and Bob Buell. In the collection, and shown here, is the very document from the commissioner's office that makes official what many consider to be the worst trade in Philadelphia Phillies franchise history. When we caught up to Fergie to chat with him about the deal, the Cubs great animatedly spoke of the trade. Responding to a questionnaire asking what the Phillies had in mind when they traded him, Jenkins replied, Not sure, but it didn't work. That would be an understatement, as the Phillies never again reached the World Series until winning it all in 1980. Buell and Jackson? Hmm. They combined to win 103 games against 104 losses for the Phillies, while Jenkins by himself won 167 for the Cubs over the next decade. The 1971 Cy Young Award winner went on to have quite a career, 284 wins, 3,192 strikeouts. After retirement, he reached the pinnacle of recognition as he was voted into both the Canadian and American Baseball Halls of Fame. Cast aside by the Phillies in 1966 for two aging pitchers, Fergie Jenkins went on to baseball immortality. Thanks for watching Stunning Stories. To get a closer look at the artifacts shown in this story, as well as autographs and memorabilia on every member of the Hall of Fame and many shining stars, be sure to visit cooperstownexpert.com.